Why did Rockstar reset your guys' accounts and why did they ban you? If this recently happened to you guys, we are going to discuss a crazy theory. If you guys are coming into the channel, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. My name is Jackknife Finnegan. This is the channel. And if you guys did not get a notification for this, check out my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, all at Jackknife Finnegan. I would really appreciate that. You guys will always know when I drop a video or when I go live. But guys, let's discuss a crazy issue I thought of about three days ago. I said it on my live stream, and I just want to get more into detail on it because I never really finished my thought on that. But have you guys ever thought, what if Rockstar did this on purpose? Why is Rockstar killing their own game? You guys are probably wondering, why would Rockstar want to kill their own game? Well, let me explain something to you. Grand Theft Auto V rocked PlayStation 3. It rocked PlayStation 4. It's going to be remastered on PlayStation 5 as well, and it's going to do really well there. And if you go on Twitch, you go on YouTube, there's hundreds of thousands of viewers viewing GTA 5 content, and this game has been out for seven years. So they're thinking, oh my God, you know, because Rockstar right now, honestly, guys, Rockstar cannot afford a loss. So Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out and that flops, their company is fucked. And let me explain why their company is fucked, okay? Let me explain. They've, have, they've been having a decrease in sales in shark cards, a decrease. They might not admit this to you. They're going to be like, oh, no, our company is doing fantastic. We're doing amazing, this and this. Red Dead Redemption 2, that game is deader than fuck. Okay, let's not lie to each other. That game is about as dead as a fucking doornail. That thing is terrible. I mean, if you guys played the new DLC, it was absolute trash. And you guys might like it. That's cool. But I'm telling you, it was garbage. Let's be real here. And that game is tanking. The online society was terrible. They dressed up like clowns to represent and show how stupid the RDR2 online community was. And that was their own community that did that. You know what I'm saying? It was not a rock star movement. It was their own community expressing that that game is fucking dead. And they lost so much money on that. They really did. They lost a lot of money because Grand Theft Auto V is what's keeping this company afloat. Let's explain a couple other things. Laszlo left. If you guys don't know who Laszlo is, he was a big counterpart to a lot of the Grand Theft Auto games. He was a lot of the really um, raunchy and, and cool commentary that took place in the game. Well, he walked away. He's out. Uh, another half of the Rockstar company walked away. He's gone. A bunch of the employees were complaining that they had to work all these extra hours. And it was terrible. It was this and that. All the Rockstar employees left. A lot of them did. Because of uh, misuse and, mis and, and abuse. You know what I'm saying? They all decided to walk away and leave. So what I'm saying is this company is tanking. And they need something to save it. And they know that Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming out. They know we've been expecting this game for seven years. We've been wanting this game forever. And they're like, okay, well, if we release this game, these guys aren't going to jump ship and go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Or they're not going to go to Grand, o Grand Theft Auto 6. If you know what I'm saying. They're not going to jump ship because all these people are still rocking GTA 5. And they all have all this money. They have all the properties. They have everything. They're not going to leave to start over. And that's where Rockstar says, okay, well, here, I got an idea. Because they make the game. They know everything about the game. Let's not act like we're fucking stupid and say, oh, well, they don't know about the glitch. And they don't know about... If you don't think they know about the glitches, you must be fucking out of your mind. Because they make the fucking game. They know every game-breaking bullshit in the fucking game. So what do they do? They make this right here. This fucking apartment glitch right here. You're looking at the apartment that has reset thousands or not hundreds of thousands of accounts or reset them all or took everything away from these people this is the a fucking apartment that has done it to everybody okay this one even people that didn't even do the glitch got it they didn't even do the glitch and they got fucking wiped all because of this right here you're looking at the apartment right here this is where it all started so rockstar is thinking okay well we make an easy enough glitch a really stupid glitch and people are going to fall into it. They're going to do it. They're going to do it over and over and over again. We're going to reset them. And then they're going to get mad. They're going to get pissed. They're going to give up because they don't want to start from zero. So we're just going to get rid of it. We're just going to get rid of all those people. And then in the process, we're going to get rid of a couple of people that never even did the goddamn glitch just to make even more people pissed. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's just make everybody fucking mad to the point where they're like, fuck GTA 5. And that's what they're doing. If you look at my comments on my, uh, probably my video, everybody's leaving GTA 5. They uninstalled the game. They broke the game. They deleted the game. And a lot of you guys are thinking, well, hey, Jack, they took my rank, but they still gave me money from the shark cards that I bought. Well, let's use our big brains here, guys. They have to legally give you that money because they're afraid that they could possibly get a class action lawsuit. Because technically, you guys paid money out of your pocket for a service in the game to get in-game currency to buy things. Now, they could take the things that you that you bought. They own that. They could take those away, but they can't take the currency that you paid for their game in exchange for services. They can't do that. So that's why they're giving you some money back because they're afraid that if someone watches these videos and someone has a little bit of change, they're going to come and spank the fuck out of Rockstar Games with a big-ass class, a class action lawsuit. That's a real-life fact. That's why a lot of you guys are getting money back. They're not being fucking nice to you. They're not, they're not going, oh, well, let's give them back their shark. No, they're protecting their, their ass. That's what they're doing. They're not fucking stupid. You, they got about 70 lawyers on this shit. I guarantee it. They're protecting their, their ass because right now they're under the fucking gun. And that's just the reality of the situation. But why why do this glitch? Because a lot of people are going to give in to temptation. It's easy money. It's not a lot of time. It's boom. It's easy. So why not do it, right? I don't blame you guys. I don't blame you. It's easy. Why not? Why wouldn't you do it? You know what I'm saying? I didn't do it because I didn't really know about it. And by the time I looked at it, it was already taken off YouTube. All the videos were taken off of YouTube for the majority. But what I'm saying is they made this for people to do and then they went and banned all these people because they want you guys to get mad at Grand Theft Auto 5. So when GTA 6 drops, GTA 6 might not drop for another two years. But what they're doing is they're, they're planting the seed to make you not like this game. So then when GTA 6 comes, you're going to be like, Oh, it's a brand new game, brand new experience. It's going to be different. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. And you don't have a problem starting over because it's a brand new game. We're all starting over. See what I'm saying? They're, they're getting you in the mentality of starting over. That's what they're doing. Think about it, guys. Why would they reset all these accounts? They're getting you mentally trained for GTA 6 so you can start over and buy the game because they can't allow that game to fucking fall. If that game falls, I guarantee fucking tee it. I will put money on it. Rockstar Games will collapse. I swear to God. The only thing that's keeping this fucking company afloat in all reality is Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto and Bully. Why they haven't made a Bully 2? I don't know. Maybe it might turn out to be an RDR 2, which is fucking trash. But let's be real here. This is the only game that's keeping that fucking company eating at night. Let's be real. Let's be real here. So what I'm saying is they're getting you ready for GTA 6. And it might like take a couple years, but they got to start now. They got to start planting that seed because they can't just do it. They can't just automatically get rid of all your guys' shit and then drop drop GTA 6 because a lot of you guys aren't going to make the boat and make the jump. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys aren't going to make the jump. You guys are going to be sitting there like, fuck this game. I ain't fucking sponsoring anything Rockstar does, but they're going to plant that seed and they're going to wait X amount of months, maybe a couple years, and then you're going to forget about it. And you're going to be like, GTA 6, yeah, fuck yeah, let's fucking go, boys. You're going to be all excited, right? You're going to get it. You're going to be all pumped. But they, that's what they want you to do. That's what I'm saying. Think like that, you guys, because everything happens for a reason. And to sit there and think, and then look at this, guys. Here's another fun fact. They get rid of the, the um, actual grinders. They actually reset a couple grinders accounts. They reset uh, glitches accounts. They accept normal people accounts. They wiped all those accounts, right? But check this out. Modders accounts are still existing. Modders accounts are still living. And a lot of people in the comments are talking and actually considering buying modded accounts. And in all reality, why wouldn't you buy a modded account? Because they're not being touched. It's okay to be a modder. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Fuck it. It's okay. You're making people fucking mad and making people buy shark cards. So we like that. That's good. Oh, your orbital cannon spamming? Oh, fuck yeah. Keep doing it, bro. That's fucking awesome. Keep doing it. Yeah. That's a good move because people are going to buy shark cards because they're going to be fucking mad that they're getting blown up and this and that. And they're going to want to buy all these fancy ass cards to protect them, even though the orbital cannon doesn't protect you from shit in reality. But they're going to get mad. And then, oh, God, uh, God mode. Oh, fuck yeah, let's keep God mode. That's another good one. That is a fantastic one. That's going to piss more people off too. So as long as we keep the people pissed off, that is what we're going to do because what they're doing 
is there also, why did they make the orbital cannon? I mean, let's, let's get back to facts. Why did they make the orbital cannon? That motherfucker serves no purpose but to grief people. That's the only fucking thing that thing does, bro. That's the only fucking thing that that does. So Rockstar was relying on their own community to self-explode. You see what I'm saying? By throwing in the orbital cannon, throwing the MK uh, MK Oppressor 2 in there. They were wishing that their own community would have turned on themselves and fucked each other over. You see what I'm saying? But they were they're realizing that that wasn't going fast enough. That shit ain't going fast enough. They got to make it go faster. So they reset all these accounts. They got rid of everybody's shit. And that is why, as, that's why they're killing their own game because they're getting ready for the gateways of Grand Theft Auto 6. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I going crazy? Am I nuts? Let me know what you guys think because that's what I think is going on, honestly. That's honest to God what I think is going on because why else would you do something this stupid when this is all you have as your bread and butter? This is fucking it, bro. This is all you got and that is 100%. Let's not lie to each other. Tell me another game Rockstar has that's been selling recently. Tell me. Insert cricket noise now, because there ain't one. There is a not one. There is not one game right now. You try to tell me RDR2 is alive, I'm going to laugh at you. That thing is about as dead as it gets, and I'm being 100% with you. But guys, like I said, if you like this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. And also, drop me a comment. I answer all your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. I really want to know you guys. So with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day. And just because our community is down, talking about Grand Theft Auto, just because our community is down doesn't mean we can't get back up in there and uh, make it great. You know, make it great. You know what I'm saying? Let's make it the way it was before and make it better than it was before so then we can get back to what we do best and rock Grand Theft Auto V and not let them win by trying to destroy their own game and now make them even more happy. And I'm sure more crazy stuff will happen. But anyway, I'm getting out of here. You guys have a good night. I'll see you later. I'm out. Peace.